everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today we're going to be making this um, luminary or shadow box card. It folds down like this so that you can mail it and fit in an envelope. But when you open it, you open it like this and you can put a tea light in it and then it'll shine through the, um, the card so you can display it. So this is not my original idea. I want to say that I got it from Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. She did a video about six years ago using this design and I just kind of used the updated supplies that we have now. So I did change a few things, but the measurements um, that I'm going to give you to make it are hers. So I will link her video down below if you wanted to watch that too. So we're going to start with two pieces of the basic white and I use the thick basic white and this is cut at seven by four and a quarter and you do need two of these pieces. Then what I did is I went ahead and on the long side I scored at three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches and then I flipped this like this and I again scored at three and a quarter by one and a half. So I did that on both of these sheets already. So the stamp set we're gonna be using mostly is this Window Wishes and it has coordinating dies with it. Um, these are the dies we didn't use. It has a pretty wreath and the house and the trees and car. It's really a cute set. And then I'll show you the dies we're using as we go along. So to get started, we're gonna use a piece here of Knight of Navy, and this is cut at four and an eighth, four and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And you just wanna, I, I always put it right up to my card because this is gonna fit in the middle. And I want to make sure I don't have it going the opposite way because the measurements are really close. So we have it going the right way. We're going to take this piece of the window. Whoops, I'm putting the wrong one away. And we're going to take our stamp and cut emboss machine. All right. Whoops. Getting caught. Hopefully that's still in frame. I never know because I can't see it. So I'm going to put this Knight of Navy here and then I'm going to just center this window right in here. And you want to really try and make sure it's centered. I mean, if it's not, you're going to put a pane around it, a window pane. So um, that'll make it there we go. All right, so we're just going to run this through. And then you can see that some of these pieces pop out. And you've got, hopefully you can see that a nice frame started right here. So we don't need these pieces. So I'm just going to take them off quick, maybe quickly. Sometimes it takes a minute. And then while I have this up, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the window pane. And this is just a piece of scrap um, evening evergreen that I had. And we're just going to run this through as well. All right. And then you can see here, we don't need this, these pieces. We have the window pane to go around. So let's measure out where we need to cut our white piece now because we need to make a window in the white as well. So we're just going to use one of the basic white. And what I'm going to do is kind of put this up. I'm not gonna adhere it yet but I wanna center this on to the middle piece. And then I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm happy with where it is. And I'm just gonna outline a little bit here and up here, just so I can line it up. 
and you don't have to do the whole line up. All right, so now we're going to bring the Stampin' Cut and Boss machine up again. And we're going to put this right here. And then we're going to make sure that this, you can't see the lines. So if I have it this way, you can see I'm not in the right spot. So when I can't see my lines top and bottom, I know I'm in a good spot. I'm shaking a little bit because my I have neck problems and sometimes my goes down into my fingertips. Anyways. All right. Um, did that move on me? I think it did. Let's nudge it just a little bit more up. Okay, I think that's good. Alrighty, so let's send this through now. All right, so then we've got our cutout on this. I'm just gonna, we don't need those pieces, so I'm just gonna put this aside. Whew. All right, so we've got this piece. Now what we're going to do is adhere this piece right over those cutouts, and that's gonna give us our hole to add some vellum to the back so that the light will shine through. So I just used some Stampin' Seal on the outer parts and then I am going to use just a little bit of the fine tip glue on the pane inside here let's not do it on our just right here just so it stays down and you just need a tiny tiny bit okay so now we're going to center this on and it goes right over the white Hopefully I've centered it. It is a little bit low on here coming to the edge, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna hold that for a quick minute. All right, that should be good. So now we need to add our vellum. And I've got a piece of vellum here. Now this is the Snowflake 12 by 12 specialty vellum and I'll just show you what comes in the package so you've got this really pretty white pattern and then you also have the silver if I can get to it so you have the bigger snowflakes as well and you've got them in white and silver and then down here you can see it comes in white and silver as well so this is really pretty oops I'm so sorry Bump in the camera. All right, so we're gonna adhere this to the back of this. I'm just gonna line it up so I can basically see where it goes. And I'm just going to add some adhesive here along the outside. And then I'm just going to center this like that. It's okay that you've got some adhesive here. We've got another piece going over it. So you can see you've got the snowflakes now right there. So the next thing I did is I stamped another piece of vellum and this is just regular vellum and this is cut at four by two and three quarters. And I did stamp the tree from this stamp set um, already because it takes a minute to dry and I just didn't wanna have wet vellum um, or it would smear. So I just want to make sure that that's going to show up. So you've got the tree right there. It's light, but it shows up. So again, we're going to just put some stamp and seal here. And this piece is cut just a little bit bigger. And I just want to make sure again, I'm covering. I've Got the tree up a little bit high, but that's, whoops, I'm doing it. Which way does it go? Look at that. Can't even tell. I think this is the right way. Before when it was wet, I could easily see. Okay, let's see. There we go, that worked. All right, so now we need to decorate our card. And I cut out, like you saw, a piece of even, Evening Evergreen. And this, I'm just going to add some liquid glue. 
I'm just gonna pull out my silicone mat so if I get it messy, it's not all over my workspace. I'm just gonna add some of this liquid glue. And this goes right around our window like so. I'm just gonna give it a good press to stick it on. And now we've got some other pieces. So what I did is I did go ahead and already stamp and cut these out just to save on time because I felt like this project was going to take a little bit more time. And oops, I'm having trouble getting the candles. There we go. So the candles come in two pieces. So I stamped the candles and then these are the flames. And before I put them on, I'm just going to add a little wink of Stella so they have some sparkle with the flame and the way that you put these on or that i've done it at least is i've just put a little adhesive on here and then i just line up the flame to go right on top of the candle and that's why you have that piece here so you have something to adhere to it so we've got that piece. I'm gonna put on this piece first, this garland, and we're just going to use some um, mini dimensionals. And just scatter them around. Oop, there we go. Get these off. Oh my goodness, these always take forever. I feel like they do at least. All right, so then we're going to just adhere this around our window. There we go. Then we're going to put on our candles and this I'll just use a regular dimensional four. Maybe I'll put on two. Here we go. And then we need to do our greeting. So I have a stamp from The Brightest Glow. And this is, um, we're gonna use All is Merry and Bright. And I'm just gonna stamp in real red. Oh, I should tell you the colors I used as, as I stamped. That was silly of me. So the tree I stamped in Early Espresso. The candle base I um, stamped in real red, the flames I stamped in crushed curry, and then this um, piece of garland I stamped in evening evergreen. And then we're just going to do the sentiment in real red again. Alrighty. I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle punch to punch this out. If you don't have the circle punch, because I know they are retired, you can always use um, the layering circle dies, which are still available. All right, so we're gonna adhere this piece on with some dimensionals. Down here in the corner. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of these red rhinestone jewels and I'm just going to add those. Let's see if my putty's still working well. I'm just going to add these around the garland for some sparkle. And you can put on as many or as few as you'd like. We'll just go around here a little bit more. One more, if I can get it up, there we go. All right, so that's looking good. So now we need to put our card together. And so what you wanna do is just fold at your score lines. And I fold this way, but really we're gonna do it 
like this. So you have like a valley in here on both sides. Let's see if I do it this way first. There we go, that works a little bit better. And then we're going to do that same thing to this piece. I think I went the wrong, nope, I got it the right way that time. And you can always use a bone folder to make the creases a little bit um, creased more, I guess, but you don't really need to. So then what we're going to do is flip this over and I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus on this one just because um, it has a little bit extra hold. And I'm just going to do maybe if it wants to work with me a line it really doesn't want to work let's see there we go just a line of adhesive on this side and this side and then what we're going to do is just line this up like so It's really sticky, so you gotta, I'm a little crooked here, but you will get the idea. Okay, that side came out much better. So I am a little crooked here, but it'll still work. So again, you can fold this down for mailing, and then you can pop it up, and I do have a tea light here, but it doesn't work. And then, <laughs> and then you can just have your little uh, luminary glowing on your mantle or wherever you'd like to put it. So this was the one we made, a little crooked, but okay. <laughs> and here is our original. And just thank you so much for watching. I'll have Dawn's video linked below if you wanted to watch hers. And then um, all of my links are listed down below as well. Thank you so much.